So for this problem, when I'm looking at it, automatically I want to go and take a look at it and see, can I do anything with canceling out um, the secant and the tangent? And obviously, those don't cancel out, right? But what I do notice is, that's amazing. This, is, this problem is going to be amazing too, so watch this. That looks cool. Um, so if we take a look at this, guys, what are some things I can do? Well, one thing, if you guys remember, I always told you, if you kind of get stuck, you don't know what to do next, you just can't transform, you can't transform by using any other identities, just start using, just start switching things to sine and cosine. So what I'll do is I'll transform this to 1 over cosine times sine of x all over sine of x over cosine of x. So all I did was I just changed everything to sines and cosines because I kind of got stuck. I didn't know what else. I couldn't do. I couldn't use any other identities. So I just transferred or I couldn't multiply or do anything like that. So I just uh, switched those over to sine and cosine. Now I have a fraction divided by another fraction. I can get rid of that by multiplying by the reciprocal. Remember, that's over 1. So this is going to cancel out, and so are my sines now going to cancel out. So I'm going to be left with 1 over cosine of x times cosine over 1. Now when I'm left with this, it can be simplified to reduce the 1. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So yes. when you guys get stuck, the best way, like I said, is you know you got to try things. And one of the best things to try is just switch to cosines and sines for as many um, trig functions as you can, and just see what things start getting canceled out.